This project has its roots back nearly 10 years uh, when the community saw that the only way for this region of the state to prosper economically and the only way for this part of the state to develop its human resources was to have a comprehensive four-year university right here in Texarkana. Uh, getting this land, getting the support from Austin for $100 million worth of new buildings on this site, generating the private support, uh, largest private fundraising campaign in the history of this region of the state, our Endow the Future campaign, to raise nearly $9 million to help provide the faculty necessary for us to make the kind of transition we're making right now was something that took an awful lot of work. But I think it's something that people take great pride in in this region, from our faculty and staff and students to our partners in the community. This truly has been a labor of love for this community. Love and care are words that are used with frequency lately, not only by the CEO of the Texas A&M University, Texarkana, but throughout the city for a good reason. This tightly knit community, historically comprising the Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana Triangle, nourishes a social environment which has made a long-time dream come alive. A campus undergoing so many changes, it looks brand new, a full-degree university. The students who are about to join A&M Texarkana tell us what they like the most is not just the new building, but the commitment they stand for. Um, like big universities, it's so hectic, like you get maybe a robot person on the phone or they don't really care and you're just another number to them, but here they actually know your name. They call me like almost every day trying to get stuff figured out for my classes and everything, so they put a lot of work into what they do. Kim's choice of A&M Texarkana is an investment in herself, but more importantly, in history. She will be part of the first freshman university class in a region long considered to be the only one of its size in Texas without a full degree higher education institution. Hi, Ruben Olaga here with Dimensions. Texas A&M University Texarkana's expansion will translate into growth for the city and new educational opportunities. It will also increase its role as part of a world-class university system. Uh, we didn't have buildings, uh, we didn't have a program, uh, but we told people what we were going to do and the wonderful people of this area believed in it and gave, uh, uh, gave to a hurt to see this come to fruition and that's what produced these buildings. So that there's, a, uh, there's a, wonderful, uh, a wonderful family uh, kind of progressive attitude in, in Texarkana. Um, and, and, and we see too many kids uh, that, that don't have the economic advantages that they deserve. And so it's the university that, that's going to make that happen. Bruner is convinced that because the state did its part, it is now up to the students to move the university forward. Pivotal in the entire effort has been a family locally known as simply the Arnolds. Truman and Anita Arnold donated 75 acres to the university in what is the single largest endowment by a family to A&M Texarkana. A&M Texarkana is also at the forefront of teaching one of the most important areas of study in education called STEM. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Attracting students to these fields is critical to the state and the nation. What can it do for students? You know, a great example of this is calculus. If I'm a freshman engineering student, I'm told I have to take multiple semesters of calculus in order to take my engineering classes later on. By integrating calculus into the engineering classes, the students understand why they're taking the calculus, what impact that has on their chosen career, what impact that has on their chosen profession. And this is, makes it just that much easier to learn. Not long after we started this process, uh, the book The World is Flat uh, was a bestseller. And it, it points to that, that very issue that the United States is behind other industrialized uh, countries in their uh, uh, education, uh, particularly in the areas of math and science. Um, it, it, it's, it's kind of cool to think that, that, that your town, your university, your school district's on the front end of this stuff. But taking a leading role in changing the face of education is only part of the attraction at A&M Texarkana. It is a beautiful place to come and study. As A&M Texarkana takes flight into the beginning of a new era for the region, it's easy to see why it chose the eagle as its mascot. It is a symbol of courage, self-reliance, and resolve. One that is instilled throughout the community, and now in generations of students to come. For the Texas A&M University System, I'm Ruben Olagin.